I finally heard from Major General Fubuki. He asked us to head to Sumeragi Tomb right away. Apparently, the Chief will be there. Kaito... Actually, what's my brother's status now? He's still the acting chief, but most of his authority has been transferred and no one has seen much of him lately. My guess is that the government is going to make him take the fall for everything and abandon him. The chief might have decided to help us because he knows that's what they're going to do. As long as he helps us, it's fine. Now let's head to Sumeragi Tomb. Kaito. So you finally made it. You want inside the Sumeragi tomb, correct? Right. In order to close the Kunad gate, there's something we need to check inside the tomb. If Karin really is inside, then he is the key to closing it. If, huh? Not only is everything circumstantial, it doesn't sound very credible either. Is this really what you choose to stake everything on? Very well. If you do indeed manage to save the world, it will reflect quite nicely on the Sumeragi name. Is that all that matters? Hanabi, it doesn't matter what he says, as long as he helps us. I've disabled the security for the entrance. Close the Kunad Gate. I heard you stopped Togetsu's plan. You managed to avenge her. You did what I had set out to do. So, you knew about Mom's death? Dad and I. We vowed that we'd destroy Togetsu one day. This isn't what I imagined. But it looks like Dad and I got our wish. Kaito. Go. Do what you need to do. This is the path you've chosen. Thank you. Yakumo Sumeragi should be sleeping in here. Let's find out whether our theory was right. If it's actually the former Major General that traveled to the past. So this is what it's like inside Sumeragi tomb. I thought it'd be gloomier since it's a tomb. Yakumo's got a good thing going here. We need to go down. Those stairs go all the way down. I don't think there's any danger to worry about. Let's take them. I don't see any other way down. Yuito, Kazane. Major General Fubuki said he'd join you, too. Should we go meet him? No, he said he can't head there right away, so he'll meet up with you later. Copy that. We'll go on ahead, then. These stairs just go on and on! Ugh, what a pain! What's up with this place, Yuito? What? How's this my fault? I mean, it's your family's tomb, right? Install an elevator at the very least, sheesh. Look, a giant mirror. How pretty. Seems too meaningful for just a skylight. Good job. Pretty sure you've reached the bottom floor. Oh, we finally made it. Looks like there's only a single path from here. There's a big space up ahead. That's probably where Yakumo is sleeping. I guess we just need to move forward. 
I was worried it might be a maze in here to prevent grave robbing. Stay on your toes. Just because nothing's happened so far doesn't mean that it... I just felt something in my brain. What? I didn't feel anything. What's going on? What's happening? Signal is deteriorating. Wataru. Damn. We lost the transmission. Where are we? Is this Suo's OSF headquarters? How did we get here all of a sudden? Oh, maybe there was some sort of teleportation trap. Just calm down and take a better look around you. Something doesn't seem quite right. The city looks a little off. This feeling... I remember it from before. Are we inside a brain field? That is certainly a possibility. Since I felt something interfere with my brain, this could be a measure to confuse intruders. Or... Others! This is what happened when we went to the Kronos Terminal. Get ready to fight. Let's go, Kyoka! Another shell is quite hard. Attack it with something heavy by using psychokinesis. Useless, it's over. Oh, the attacks to the outer shell are working. I'll try to break it. Looks good. I'll do it. Just on it. Let's finish this. Seems like we managed to kill all the others around here, but our situation hasn't improved much. We haven't been able to reach Haruko or Wataru either. We should... huh? Karin? Ta-da! As of today, Alice Ichijo is now an official member. Congratulations, Alice. The three of us are together again. It also seems like we have a mission for our new platoon. I'm going to show you two who the real star member is. I just hope the newbie's over-enthusiasm doesn't make her do something reckless. Oh, really? You know, I heard a certain somebody got written up for disobeying orders. Fabuki. <laughs> I mean, that was your 50th write-up. That's quite the milestone. How could I not share it? They say you're a shoe-in for Septentrion, Karin, but I guess you've got some issues with your superiors. I don't intend to follow orders I don't agree with. <laughs> That's so like you. Oh, I guess that just means you'll have to climb to the top of the OSF. Sounds like too much trouble. I'm not interested in looking after people weaker than me. Fubuki can do all that instead. <laughs> You say that, but you always look after your friends in the end. You're usually more helpful than I am. I think you're more suited to run things than me. Actually, I bet you're really gunning for the position. Stop trying to hide it. <laughs> You've been gunning for the top position from the very beginning. <sighs> Listen to the two of you. Honestly, just take the top two positions and you're all set. That's a good idea. If we take the current organization and break them into regiments, Ooh. <laughs> Stop with the creepy laugh. Don't worry, I don't do it in front of anyone else. You'd do so much better in life if you just learned how to have an outside persona. Not having a facade is one of Karn's better qualities. Although, it wouldn't hurt you to learn to have one so you wouldn't get written up so much. What did we just see? Major General Fubuki. And Karin, right? And Ann Alice? 
Oh, right. She was your aunt. The three of them were childhood friends. That brought back some memories. Funny, I had forgotten the color of Karin's hair back then. Now it's completely different from Luca's. That's right. It's a pretty rare phenomenon. So it may have something to do with my brother's powers. That looked like it was from when Alice first entered the Force. That would make it over 20 years ago. If this was a brain field, then I guess it would make sense for it to be affected by someone's memories or emotions. I'm not entirely sure what that was. But first we should figure out how to get out of here. Staying here won't help. Let's see what's up ahead. I can't get a read in this space. All I can sense is that it's really... fast. There's some familiar scenery mixed in too. The connection is so chaotic. Looks like that's the way this space works. This area must be connected to some other location as well. Gone. I still feel bloodless. The other is still around. Fighting with Sugumi's power. Are you okay? Yes, Kyoka. Thanks to you. I'll pull you out! Shell are working. 
This one's stronger than the rest. Fall back and regroup. Are you all right? Yeah. Uh, well, thank you for saving me. Keep your guard up, idiot. You're right. Sorry. How many times have you saved me now? Nobody's counting. <sighs> Are you two okay? Good. Looks like you're all right. Yeah, this idiot just messed up again. I handled it. There's the tough act again. You need to take better care of yourself. You're hurt. What? I'm sorry. You got hurt because of me. Let me take a look. <sighs> it's just a scratch. Alice is tired. Stay with her, Fabuki. I'm gonna check on the remaining teams. We'll need to regroup the platoon if we're gonna kill that other. Hey, Karin! <sighs> it's gone. That one also had to do with Karin. This field. Maybe it's something he generated. To prevent anyone from getting close to where he's sleeping? Even if that were the case, why show us these memories? I'd think he would rather keep them secret. I agree. My brother doesn't talk about himself much, nor does he like to. The memories are probably mixed in subconsciously. Don't fail!
It's over. Focus on it.
Anything is useful. That seems to be the spot. Whoa! Did you get even stronger? That's amazing! Why is this floor moving on its own? It's so hard to maneuver. I trust you, Kasane. Leave nothing! Help me, Kagura. I'll do it. It's over. Finish it, 
now doesn't seem like we're any closer just look at the size of this place how are they generating something so huge this brain field feels much larger than what a single psionic should be able to generate huh what is that It's armed changes. Only when it's defending with water. So we 
should try attacking there. It's hard to get close with how strong the water flow is, though. We should use teleportation and get inside of the flow. Use SAS. <laughs>
been using will Time still work. Stealth. What? We'll corner it. You can do it.
like we finally got it. Do you think it's just a coincidence that the other we saw from his memory appeared? I heard that being inside a brain field for a long period of time will eventually manifest your emotions and memories. That makes sense if Karin is the one who made this field. That memory where he protected Alice must be affecting things. Then staying here any longer could be dangerous. Yes, we should hurry. It seems like the field goes on further ahead.
Let's go, Kyoka. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm taking this. Nasty. Useless. To be the spot. Let's do this. Don't fail. Check me. 
I trust you, Kasane. Leave it to you. Let's have some fun.
Apparently, the extinction belt has dropped near the surface. This has never happened before. With all these others around, this is turning out to be a tough mission. What? Alice, is that you? <sighs> Alice morphed into another after coming into contact with the Extinction Belt. I had no idea the Extinction Belt could drop that low and close to the surface. I've heard that it's a rare occurrence. I've never seen it drop that low myself. Hey, notice anything about that other? Yes. She was one of the ones who helped us fight alongside Naomi. I see. So that other really was her. Did you guys meet Aunt Alice? I think she's supposed to be in Ceyron's laboratory. We just figured it out now ourselves. Alice has already passed away. <sighs> if that's true... Then Karin used the red strings as soon as he found out about her death. Which means my brother is after... We'll know when we see him. There's no doubt that he's here. I know everyone has a lot of questions, but don't forget what we came here to do. We're here to get his help. Useless. 
failed again. <laughs> I'm tired of my own incompetence. I failed to save her again. This history is unnecessary. If Ara Habaki was right, I can just start over from the beginning again. As many times as I need to. Use the red strings for Alice. What was that? It's like Karin's thoughts were inside my head. So him going back in time was to save Alice. What does he mean by as many times as he needs to? And he mentioned something about Ara Habaki. Right. Even if he goes back to change the past, it doesn't necessarily mean Alice will be saved. The future is always uncertain. Once he determines he can't save her, he goes back to the past to change history all over again and repeats the process. So, he's going to keep jumping through time until Aunt Alice is saved? Wait. He time-traveled after that, right? But Alice is still dead at this time. He went back to the past, but history hasn't changed. So he failed? I've never seen my brother like that before. Do you think he'll listen to us? Either way, he's our only lead. We have to get him to cooperate.
only one real other. To beat that one, Let it's over. Joker.
Let's get rid of them. Let's do this. Are you hurt, Kasane? I'm okay. You saved me.
like we managed to make it out. Karn might be close. <laughs> Is that Karn? Or should we call him Yakumo? He really was here. I guess he woke up from his cold sleep. Wait, some kind of device is active here. Yakumo, what's going on? <sighs> there are two Karans? Why are you here? What is going on? Yeah, that's what I would like to know. I tried to travel back 2,000 years ago, but was rejected. What? Explain to me why the time travel failed. I helped you back at Arahabaki's secure site. However... You... What are you talking about? Hand over all of the information. Did he just get absorbed? 
Looks like I was right to worry. That's what happens when you meet yourself. I haven't the slightest clue of what's going on, but does this mean Karin failed to travel to the past? What is this memory? So I do need his power after all. Now, what are you doing in this place? We need your help to close the Kunad Gate. Please, help us. We heard what you were saying. When you traveled 2,000 years in the past, you created an entanglement. The Kunad Gate won't close as long as the entanglement still exists. So we need you to come with us so we can unravel... How tedious. I figured you'd resort to force. I guess even you couldn't maintain the red strings with your power. That's why you needed to copy it again. Don't bother resisting. I will obtain the red strings. Where did you even learn about the red strings? From Arahabaki. Or, more accurately, my own memory inside it. As you saw, we are one now. So Yakumo was connected to it while in cold sleep? How could they incorporate a living human into Arahabaki? Why are you so surprised? Do you know how many brains are living connections to Arahabaki? So it was a biocomputer comprised of brains like Babe. When our brains were being hacked at Arahabaki's secure site, and there was that weird brain field... It was all done by Yakumo. By you. It seems that way. The version of me that was in cold sleep used Arahabaki to generate that brain field in order to conceal this location. So you were connected to it from here, gathering all kinds of information over the last 2,000 years without anyone even knowing. I understand why you want to time travel, but that'll just create another entanglement. So what? I'll do whatever I have to do in order to time travel again. So you have no intention of helping us. Just listen, please. I know you have your reasons, and I know there's a whole lot going on between New Himuka and the Moon. But we can't fix anything if the world ends. We need to make things right. We need to create a new future that won't bring about our destruction. This timeline isn't worth saving. I will change the past, and I will make it work this time. I understand that you want to save Alice, but that... I don't need you to understand. I must break you to obtain your aid! I won't let you get in the way! We're here because we've survived many battles. Remembering our experiences should help us. Don't fail. I'll protect you! Thank you for protecting me. Whoa! 
No matter how much you use your power alone, all it takes for us is to use the SAS. We won't let you get away with this so easily. Please, just talk to us, Karin! Shut up! You're all so endlessly annoying! What? Karin? Karin? What's going on? I see. Two thousand years. No. Thousands of memories and hopes. <sighs> Nothing more than stepping stones to me. You, this world, and still.
No way. Karin, is that you? Here they come! What the heck are these things? It looked like it appeared from the name Karin. Maybe it's his memories or feelings materializing in the real world. His brain made something as ominous as that. Don't fail. This much power. There's no way Karin will come out of all of this unscathed. He's likely prepared for that outcome. Or rather, my brother thinks that even himself is just a pawn to reach his goal. Yuito, you can do this! Of course. This is the moment of truth. That's right. No matter how many enemies there are, we'll crush them all. Yeah, and we'll all help to do it. I trust you, Kasane. Something's wrong with the card. We should back off for now. Hit Karin 
Joker. Do not stand up. You can't take any more. <sighs> Karin. I won't. I won't let things end here! <laughs> what? 
What is this? Everyone, be careful. Something's... What? Huito! Anyone? SAS and Brain Talk are offline. Is this Karin's doing too? I'm going to save you, Alice. I promise! I'll figure out what's going on later. Everyone should be fine. They're probably fighting just like me. I can't break after coming this far. Yes. And now, I'll... I'm not like you. I won't erase the proof of all the hard work my sister went through in her life. As long as I remember her, she will live on. That's why I'm not alone. Don't tell me they got you! <laughs> Don't fail! So you're alright. I was worried about you. Alright, let's do our best. You were the one making everyone worried. Not like I was worried, though. Yours truly has arrived. It's okay, I'll... Uh oh? <laughs> Let's fight, Kasane! 
Just use it. Kasane, are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? I'm sorry I'm so late. You don't have to be so worried. I'm fine. Save the emotional reunions for later. I know how you feel now. Tell me, Shiden. <laughs> I'm taking not this. You've been improved considerably lately. Keep it up. I will never accept this world. How could I? I refuse to accept it! I made it. Thank goodness. Uh, Yuito. You're always saving my life, so I thought I should probably return the favor. Not like I was keeping track. But thank you. Yuito. Let's do it. I'm never going to stop. Next time. Next time I will not fail! It's not just our power. It's all of our powers, working as a team. As one! Our bonds give us strength! in this world and it is denied to me give up you fought and lost we're done here you don't have to keep doing this Karin yes I do I can still <coughs> Karin Out of my way, Fabuki! Please! It's time to stop this. I never knew how much pain you bottled up inside. Damn you. Listen to me! Please, Karin. You've suffered long enough. I beg of you. Put this burden down. Alice would never want you to torture yourself like this. Karen, the world is cruel, but you have to find a way to live within it. This world without Alice. 
You just have to accept it. You must. We both do. Live on. Live for her. Please, we need your help. I'll ask you once again. Come to the Kronos Terminal with us and unravel the entanglement. I know the pain of never being able to see a loved one again, so I won't ask you to accept it willingly. But I can't let you have your way. I don't want to destroy the future of this world. You went back to the past repeatedly, since no matter how hard you tried, you didn't get the result you wanted. Think of the people who care about you. End this for their sake. Join us. Help us protect our future. Help us build a better tomorrow. So this is what they mean by... the end. Then... that leaves me with only one choice. So you'll do it? I'll grant you your wish. <sighs> However, are you sure you only want to close the Kunan Gate? You should have already realized its potential, Fubuki. You mean Kaito Sumeragi's plan to have the Kunad Gate consume the Extinction Belt? Oh, I see. We close the Kunad Gate, and at the same time take care of our other problem. But the plan my brother spoke of isn't feasible. I can't move the Extinction Belt with just my power. You mean our Gravikinesis? He's right. Even with our combined efforts, we're not strong enough to do that. Use Ara Habaki. If it's a biocomputer, then it might be possible to raise the cap of your powers by connecting your brains through the SAS. It is possible. Ara Habaki has spent centuries running simulations. There shouldn't be a problem. You wanted to eradicate the extinction belt that turned Alice into an other as well. Will Yuito and Kasani's brains be able to withstand the extra output from Arahabaki? It's too dangerous. If there's even the slightest chance we can do it, we have to try. If it's theoretically possible, it's worth testing. Then let's get ready. We'll need to pull some strings in order to use Arahabaki. I'll look after Karin. We should head to the Kunad Gate. Does that make Karin my ancestor? Yuito? I'll be right there. You're copying our powers, but only because we're letting you. Don't make me regret this, Karin. Don't worry. I'll close the Kunad Gate. 
Arahabaki is ready. Karin should be ready, too. We're gonna connect through the SAS to help you while operating the link with Arahabaki. Kasane, Yuito, we got this. We'll be supporting the two of you through the SAS as well. Let's all make this a success. This is going to tax all of you, but we need your help. I just know everything is going to work out. We can do it. We've been able to come this far because we've worked together. I finished connecting Arahabaki. All right, let's start. Opening SAS connection to Arahabaki. Just focus on the extinction belt. Give it your all. I'll take care of controlling our Habaki. I've been connected to it for 2,000 years now. All right, then. Do it! Karin! We trust you! If you want to save this world, then show me the strength of your resolve! no longer a threat. From here, we can go directly to the Kronos Terminal. Right. Keep your focus on the red strings. Now, finally, the last one. <laughs> These years. I'll go to the past and find a timeline where Alice lives. No! You can't! Hold on! I told you to show me the strength of your resolve. This time, I won't claim Yakumo's life. The final entanglement will be eliminated. Karin, but that. You're going. To sacrifice your own life. This is it. One last jump through time. No, don't do this! Corin! Corin, I. This 
boxes. The red strings. But how? Beautiful. Does that mean we pulled it off? The Kunad Gate no longer seems to exist. Karin. Yeah. That flood of red we saw everywhere. That was the red strings, wasn't it? Which means. Mm. By traveling into the past, I wonder if we changed the world for the better. More than just the Kunad gate closing, you mean? Oh, sorry about zoning out there, guys. Not used to the sky being pretty. Good to go, Haruka? I've been good to go for a while. Hurry up, Wataru. We saved the world, didn't we? We didn't just prevent the future apocalypse. We eliminated the extinction belt, too. Thanks to Karin. We won. Yeah. He made a new future. All of us did. Beautiful. I wish you could see it. Okay, so this is what we could find out. We'll need to do a more thorough investigation, but most of it coincides with the history we know. But there's... Major General Fabuki. We've received several reports from all areas that the Extinction Belt has dissipated. And the Kunan Gate suddenly disappeared. What in the world happened here? I'll send a detailed report later. First, we need to contact the New Himuka government. Fubuki! You're here too? Alice? What? Why are you so startled? Oh, you're with them too, Hanabi? What? Alice. It's you. Wait. If you're here, then what about... Then... What about Karin? Karin? I don't know him. Do I?
I was thinking of going to Kunat Highway tomorrow since it's ready. I'd be happy if you'd all join me. Go for superstitious <laughs> stuff like that. Go on. Ooh, let me guess. People really this has to do with these stuff. Wait, I'm going to get a job. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah. I gave it my all. Sure. I guess I'll join you. Oh, Kasane! You're finally here! Sorry, am I late? It doesn't look like Major General Fubuki is here yet. Ugh, who does he think he is keeping me waiting? Whew, maybe I'll take a nap. It's not so bad for a loner like me, but for those of you with family and friends, it's tough to keep track of what changed and what didn't. The world left us behind. Saying it like that sounds pretty lonely. It's nice to have you guys to share these complicated feelings with, though. It's unfortunate that even though history was rewritten, Naomi and the others are still dead. Yeah, but she found a reason to live. I have to accept it and live myself. You are so strong. I have to keep working hard until I retire too. That's so you. I knew I could count on you. <laughs> I guess people will say I'm a stick in the mud. Well, even if I've started to age, there should still be some time before my power starts to weaken. I plan to do all I can in the OSF until my superiors order me to retire. And after that... You're going to help create the new system, right? Yeah. Yuito said he wanted to change this country like I did. So I'm thinking I want to help him do that. I see. He must be happy about your support. You should think about treating him to your cooking sometime. I bet your skills have improved. Yeah, I've gotten pretty confident. I also expanded my repertoire. Although, I have to follow Naomi's recipes, or ones I found on the cooking database. Besides, I started a new hobby. Sugumi is teaching me how to garden. Sounds like you're living life to the fullest. I'm sure you'll find even more hobbies at this rate. I guess you won't have anything to worry about when you finally retire. <laughs> that would be good. By the way, I heard you were participating in the Lunar Surface Survey Project. Yes. People are probably suffering there like my sister did. I was surprised when I first heard. But a part of me also understood. It was so like you. Something really outside the box. I can't even imagine what challenges are waiting for you. But I'm sure you'll be able to get through them. Yes, I'm confident. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Go follow your heart. I'll be watching over you from down here. And I'll be watching over you from the moon. Karin traveling through time and Alice being alive. There has to be some sign of causality here. It's like an exaggerated butterfly effect. Trying to figure it out would be a waste of time. Frankly, it was a miracle. I hate saying something so illogical, though. What are you going to do? Me? I don't have any big plans. I'll just stay in the OSF and it'll be the same old, same old. I could just retire and sleep all day, but such a sudden lifestyle change sounds like a pain. Because you're worried about Major General Fubuki? Do you think I'd do something so illogical? Well, it's not like I don't plan to look in on him sometimes. I just don't want him to go messing around somewhere and have to go running to help him. That sounds like worrying. Well, you're free to interpret things that way if you want. Being stubborn will only expend needless energy. I want to increase the energy efficiency to coincide with Arashi version 2.1's official release. 
Now, if only I could put an end to keeping up that fake smile for the OSF's PR work. Uh, I want to go to the moon, too. You heard I was going to the moon? Yeah, since I'm in charge of PR. Anyways, that's quite an idea, leaving Earth. I have trouble just leaving the house. However, that's an interesting viewpoint. I'm a little interested in space development, especially zero gravity. Just floating effortlessly and sipping soda out of a straw? That's the dream. Even with version 2.1, you're still the same old Arashi. Enough joking around, Kasane. You chose a pretty hard path. Just try your best and promise you'll come back safely. Okay, I promise. So will you be updated to your next version by the time I come back? Hmm. I didn't even think about it, but that's possible. I don't know what the future holds. Well, let's just say you'll have to wait and see when you come back. Major General Fabuki is a little late. Maybe I should contact him. By the way, do you want to talk to the others? Okay. I'll contact Major General Fubuki. Perhaps the reason we know that history has changed is because we were connected to you via SAS. Due to some effect of the Red String's power, we weren't affected by the change. Thanks to that, my brother will not be forgotten. Regardless of the outcome, I think that was good. You were worried about losing your power. Has anything changed? There is no change currently. Though I am sure that like Yuito, the possibility of losing my power is still present. I don't feel as uneasy or impatient as I did before though. And I did have you to listen to me. I'll do what I can now. I'll fulfill my duty as an OSF soldier and slowly change this country. A country where being a dud is in a disadvantage. Yes. Think of it as an offering to my brother's memory. I was suffering in secret, just like my brother. Worrying about what could happen because I was a dud. Should I say condolences about Karin? I haven't been able to really accept what's happened yet. Me neither. I'm still coming to terms with this new world. It's such a strange feeling. We're the only ones left from before the timeline change. You're right. The entire world changed without us. That's not something that happens every day. I once said that my brother is possessed by powers. Perhaps in the end, my brother was manipulated by the tremendous power of the Red Strings. Or perhaps my brother was happy to fulfill his wish using that power. I don't know, but he probably doesn't have any regrets. He doesn't seem like the type. Yes, that is how he was. I won't forget about Karin. Thank you. Karin talked to me a few times when I was a cadet. He was so nice, too. At the time, I wondered, why me? There's nothing special about me. I finally understand. It was because I look so much like Aunt Alice. You know a lot about Seiron City, right, Kasane? We should go sometime. I want to learn about cities other than Suo. Like, what kind of people live there and the lives they lead. Sure. I don't know too much, but I can show you around. Thanks. So, when would be good? We should probably do it soon. Why? Well, I heard that you're joining the project that's going to the moon. Then you know. The planning and preparations will take time, so it's not like I'm leaving right away. I realized that you were going somewhere, but I didn't think it'd be the moon. I was just so surprised how far ahead you're thinking. I think it's a really amazing decision. It's not that amazing. I'm just doing what I want to. That's what makes it amazing! I mean, we're talking about the moon. It's really far away. Do you think it's reckless? No. I already told you before. I'll always have your back. No matter what path you decide to take. I mean, we're friends! 
Distance doesn't matter between friends, even if it's from the Earth to the Moon. Thank you. I feel so much better knowing that you're cheering me on from Earth. And I'll be cheering you on from the Moon. I know you'll be able to tell Yuito how you... Ah! Don't say it out loud! Really? I think it's important. Anyway, good luck. Yeah, but if you say you're going to be cheering me on from the moon, I'll get embarrassed every time I look up at it. You're strange, Hanabi. What? That goes for you, too. I've seen many generations these past 2,000 years, but there hasn't been one quite as shocking as this. Well... I suppose it won't be that bad to be buried in this era. It looks like Togetsu's cryogenic sleep device is stopped too. So I guess that means I need to be awake and live. Well, I'm destined to go to prison. At least I'll have work to absorb me until then. Yeah, you should make up for what you did. I'm prepared for that. Anyway, I hear you're going to the moon? Yes. I suppose the moon is your home. Do you want to go back? Hmm. I don't think so. That feeling is gone. So, you don't have any connection to it now? That's complicated, too. I linger over it sometimes. Like, I want to know what happened to my family. I know they're not alive anymore. There might not even be any trace of them. Even so, I want some clue. Maybe I want to see what kind of lives the two of them led. And what the moon is like now. Then you should come to the moon too. And abandon the responsibility of what I did here? <laughs> I can't do that. That's too selfish. You can come after you pay for your crimes. I'd feel reassured if I knew you were coming eventually. That's unexpected. Do you really rely on me that much? No, I just think Shin Daniel's knowledge would be useful. So, I'll be waiting for you on the moon. You can be surprisingly kind sometimes. I hope my Sugumi grew up to be like that. Your Sugumi? Oh, right. I didn't tell you. Don't tell anyone. It's awkward. My daughter's name is Sugumi. Her hair was a lot like yours. I see. That's why you were so pushy about our date. I always wanted to go somewhere with my daughter when she was grown. Well, the only part of you that's like her is your hair. Because I'm sure my daughter grew up to be a much kinder, stronger, smarter, and well-behaved individual. Like our Sugumi? Hey, don't get the wrong idea. I was first drawn by her name, but that was just the start. I know she's not my daughter. I like our Sugumi for who she is. She's a really good girl. She'd be glad to know that. So, what are you going to do? Are you coming to the moon? <laughs> I think I'll leave the preliminary surveying to you while I do my time. That's not too much to ask, is it? Fine, but I'll put you to work when you finally get there. Even if it's just a little at a time, if we can reduce the number of others, then we'll be able to walk around outside more freely. I'm sure that there are lots of forests and fields of flowers I haven't seen in the world. Someday, I'd like to look for places like that. I bet there are plants I've never seen on the moon, too. That's probably true, but why? Are you planning to go to the moon? No, you. I heard you were going to the moon. Oh, so you knew. Not right away, but that's my plan. So, it's true. I won't be able to have tea and talk with you face to face once it happens. Can I ask why? Did you hear about metamorphosis happening on the moon? If people there are suffering like Naomi, I don't want to idly watch from the sidelines. I actually thought I wanted to go to the moon too. But when I talked to Kagura about it, he told me absolutely not. He really cares about you. I'm sure he's just worried. Yeah. But this whole time, I had regrets. I was shocked when Naomi transformed in front of me. 
I couldn't do anything. It's not like me going would change anything. And a change in environment really makes me anxious. But still... Still, you wanted to go to the moon to help someone. Yes. Besides, I'm also interested in moon vegetation. If you're serious about it, then you'll be able to convince Kagero. Besides, it'd be reassuring to have you come with me. It was so easy when we teamed up for my first training exercise back when I joined the OSF. Yes, it was easy for me too, because you were so confident for a rookie. I'm going to try to convince Kagero. I mean, I don't really need to. He should understand once he realizes I'm serious. Yes, let's go together. I'll help you collect moon plants. That would be great. I thought that if history changed and Alice was alive, maybe Captain Seto was too. But we weren't so lucky. He's gone. I feel like I understood Karin just a little for a moment. But I wouldn't want to do the same thing. I heard you were going to the moon. Yes, that's right. How selfish. <laughs> I'll be glad to have you gone. You've had me running all over the place. What are you going to do, Shiden? Don't ask questions you know the answer to. I'm staying in the OSF, so they have to recognize my strength. I thought you'd stopped worrying about what other people think. <laughs> I'm not worried about what other people think. I want to have more of a voice in the OSF. The fighting between Seiron and Suo hasn't completely died down yet. The cities will need to continue improving their relationship. I don't want bloodthirsty idiots who don't know anything giving me orders. Well, you surprisingly put some thought into this. I figured you were only interested in making yourself stronger. Of course I still want to be stronger. But that won't be enough to beat you. I thought you were like me. But then you said you wanted to go to the moon. I've started to look at the big picture as well as the future because... I don't want to lose to you. That wasn't my intention, but it's good to have a broad perspective. Besides, you might finally gain the composure you need to lead a platoon. <laughs> You're looking down on me again. Ah, oh, well. You should know that I'm going to beat you one of these days. Maybe not now, but one day. So you can't just leave without a rematch. Okay, we'll meet again. I, I, did, I didn't say I wanted to see you, but, but I'm also not saying I don't. It looks like the new Himuka government is dismantling the Togetsu faith. The design children there will probably be dealt with too, as they should be. I hope that the information Togetsu has can help this country's future. That also includes my knowledge. However, I think the moon is the best place for my knowledge to be put to use. Because you have Dr. Pope's knowledge? Yes. Also, Dr. Pope was from there. I hope I can use this knowledge to help the moon. These memories have given me a hard time, but if they can be of use, maybe they're worth it to pay my debts. Debts? It brought you so much grief. I think it'll be good to get revenge on the moon. <laughs> yes, but one of the reasons I was born was to carry on these memories. Also, lately I've started thinking that Dr. Pope's memories are a part of me too. Maybe I've had a change of heart. I see. I'm glad. It's thanks to you that I could think this way. Thank you for giving me a chance at a second life. You chose this life yourself. It's not like I created it for you. If you hadn't faced the Togetsu remnants with me, I'm sure I would still be a prisoner to my past. So I wanted to repay you. I mean, this is what I really wanted. I don't know if I'll get permission since I used to be a Togetsu spy. I put in a request to join the Lunar Surface Survey Project. If they allow me, I'll be able to look after you. I can take care of myself. No, I might have you help me with something other than cooking, if you want. 
Oh, that makes me so happy. I'll be sure to bring you plenty of charms. I'm thinking of applying for the Lunar Surface Survey Project. There's so much drama hanging out with you. You're so eccentric. <laughs> I was only logistical support here. So I hope I get out there together with you on the moon. I like getting exercise. I'll have your back too. Let's do our best. You're gonna join the Lunar Surface Survey Project too, right Kasane? I wonder if my power will reach the moon. It probably won't though. I actually run an OSF fan site, so I want to post news about you on the moon. It's not just you, though. I want to post updates and share with everyone on the net about all the people that go there from the OSF. I got it. What if you write some kind of lunar diary while you're there? Then we can turn it into a book. I'll help. Major General Fubuki is a little... By the way... No, it's fine. Sorry for keeping everyone waiting. When's the last time everyone got together like this? I'm glad to see nobody's changed. It hasn't been that long. I've been so busy I actually lost track of time. Man, I need a break. That makes sense since you've had to deal with the media every day. Seriously, good work. It appears there hasn't been much change with the others in this area. While new others haven't appeared since the extinction belt dissipated, it's not like the ones already here just suddenly went away. Yeah, looks like I won't be retiring anytime soon. That's right. We need to keep protecting everyone. I heard they're going to change the other reports to a system that tracks them on the surface. It looks like things are going to start changing around here. Little by little. All right, let's do what we came here to do. That should do it. I want to thank everyone for coming today to honor him. So we're the only ones who remember Karin. The world changed, but we weren't affected by it. Erasing his own existence like that? I never would have thought he had it in him. Maybe it was the price to change the world the way he desired. Although I'm sure he doesn't look at it as paying a price. Why do you have to go off and make me an only child? He will exist as long as we remember him. We know that he was here in this world. Yes. Well, are you guys ready to head home? I wouldn't mind taking out a few others around here on our way out. Ugh, such the diligent soldier. Who in their right mind asks to do more work? Kasane. I heard that you're leaving. That you're going to the moon. Yes. It's something I've been thinking of ever since we heard about it in Togetsu. If the people there are suffering from metamorphosis, then there might be something I can do to help them. What if we can control the other particles by using New Himuka's metamorphosis technology? Wouldn't that be ironic? I'm glad to hear a lot of people will be helping you. Honestly, I half expected you to try to do it alone. I would if I had to. It won't be a problem, even if I'm alone. Yeah, you're right. We're alone. Maybe that's just part of being alive. But we're still connected. No matter how far we go. Yuito. What'll you do now? I figure I'll stay in the OSF a little bit longer. After that... 
Who can say? I'd like to make a society where powers don't decide your fate. And I need to deal with my family's... actions. Changing the world is definitely a tall order. I know it'll take more than just talk. Don't forget, we saved the world. We already did the hard part. That's why. It's up to you to protect this place. <sighs> right. I've got this.